One of America's most beloved television stars, Michael Landon, drops by to discuss hairstyles back on the Ponderosa with Johnny in 1989. Uh, now, you, have, you don't have a series regularly now. You've had a series, uh, you know, on television with uh, Bonanza, then Little House, and then Highway to Heaven. Right. Yeah. For 30 years. Yeah. Yeah, well, regular series. Now, you don't have a regular series. How do you kill all the time? Or do you? It's, uh, it's the first time I've really taken uh, a great deal of time off, yeah. and I'm enjoying it. It's doing a little more vacationing than usual with my yeah. kids and spending more time with the kids. You've got uh, what, 20, 22 kids, something like that? I'm no, not... it's still uh, <laughs> still nine. You have a passel. Vacation just started. A passel of kids. <laughs> nine. Yeah. 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 yeah, a couple of grandkids, another one on the way. You don't look old enough to have grandkids. You really oh, don't. Yes. yes. No, you don't. I mean, you're a young-looking guy. Yes. Do, do you... I have this horrible painting in my attic. Is this, now, is this your, your normal color for the hair? I mean... John, how many times have I been on this show with white hair and you ask me if this... Yeah, I'm an angel. I go... <laughs> come on. You think I don't love you? I had my roots done to come here. <laughs> I suppose that's from the, from the Bonanza days when you guys used to do that. You know, oh, we did. Oh, gosh, the guy is always... Two different attitudes about hair pieces. Dan Blocker wore a hair piece, and Lauren Green wore a hair piece. Dan would do gags with his hair piece. He'd sit in a restaurant and sneeze and let it fall over <coughs> so that it hung in front of his eyes, <laughs> but pretended he didn't know. <laughs> and you know how people want to look, but they're, yeah. they're afraid to look? I mean, you don't stare at a 340-pound guy, you know what I mean? Lauren would never, I mean, he, when he'd go in the makeup department and have a hat on, and the door of the makeup department looked like an apartment in New York City. There were eight locks. Right? And then he'd come out and he would be there. So one day he had to jump off a ship in the B tank at Paramount. Well, when he jumped in, we used to call it the gray rat. It stuck on the top of the water. Oh. And Lauren went under. Oh, poor so man. the assistant director immediately go, all right, turn it off, boys, and walk away from it. He wants to pretend no one noticed. Well, Dan and I can't wait to see Dad without it. <laughs> so we're leaning over the thing, waiting for Lauren to come up. He doesn't come up. <laughs> He doesn't come up. Bubbles come up. <laughs> and now it looks like it, the ad for deliverance. Remember the hand that comes up? Like this? <laughs> Searching. <laughs> Searching. And he finds it. <laughs> Under it goes. I mean, he held his breath for 40 minutes. He, he came up and he had it on kind of like a beret. <laughs> That's a great like story. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll be back. Say where you go. Guy. <laughs> That's a great story. <laughs>